Hi, welcome to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today we are reviewing Microscopic by Jeff Chomet and it is for two to four players, 45 minutes, and for ages 14 and up. That's right, and in the game Microscopic, we are going to be playing as, um, I guess, gene creators that uh, then allow us to create cells, which will then allow us to create organisms. We're trying to create a certain number of organisms based on the number of players in the game. And in a two-player game, we're trying to create how many organisms? Three. And in, our, in the game, we're basically playing the cards in our hand. We'll start with three of them. We'll play them down, uh, utilize them as genes, turn them into cells, and turn the cells into these organisms, and hopefully get the three needed before anybody else. And if you get three, then you're going to win the game. It's a pretty simple, pretty straightforward game. Uh, we'll explain how the game is played and how the game is set up, and then we'll give you our thoughts on the game, and you can uh, determine who you think won this game <laughs> as well as we discuss it. it. It was me, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, it was. To start the game, you will shuffle out the cards and put out five organism cards, and then each player will get three gene cards. Yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You can also give each player a reference card if you want, which has the order of play and the setup of the game, um, because based on the number of players, a different number of organisms will come out. So in a two-player game like we played, uh, five organisms will come out. But if you're playing three, it's all seven. And if it's four, then it's going to be five random as well. And then to win the game in a two- or three-player game, you have to get three of these. But in a four-player game, you only need two organisms in order to win. And then after that, you go ahead and select a first player. Uh, who should be the first player of the game? How do we determine that? It's a game based on genes and stuff. I don't know. The first player who most recently looked into a microscope? The first player who most recently took a science class? So to play the game Microscopic, it's actually a really simple, straightforward game. You're gonna get these three cards in your hand, and you are going to basically be playing as many cards as you want onto the field, uh, either face down or face up. Uh, when you start the game, if you have any mutations, you're going to put them down on the field in front of you, and they're going to count towards your total amount of cells. They can give you a positive bonus or a negative bonus, and you're always gonna draw another card. So you'll always replace any mutations that you get uh, with a new card in your hand. Uh, and then you just play your cards. Playing them down, face down as a gene, will basically create a certain type of currency that will allow you to play cells. All the cells have a cost. Usually they're about what? Uh, Four, usually. Yeah, and you can maybe sometimes three. And uh, you'll be discarding your genes that you play. So if maybe I had a cell that costs two. I could play two cards face down as genes, discard these two cards, and play my cell that costs two. Now, most of them cost three or four, but I think you get the idea. A lot of cells will usually give you some type of ability. Uh, can you name a couple of the abilities that they can give you? Draw one card extra. Yeah, that's one of them. Uh, other ones are like a certain type of cell, like a fire cell. Uh, fire cell cards cost one less gene, or maybe um, uh, you're gonna get something like a virus. A virus is actually kind of like an action card because you can play it on either yourself or on one of your opponents. Can you tell me what the virus does? Um, it takes away that cell yeah, you can play it on, well, you can play it on, on any cell, so basically on an opponent's cell is what you're going to play it, or on a mutation. Uh, is there a reason why you'd play it on a mutation of your own? Um, if that mutation hurts your ability to get more organisms. Exactly. So you kind of have, it's kind of like a, a useful double-edged sword type of a card. Um, and you, after you've played all the cards you want, whether it be face down or discarding face down cards to play face up cards or playing a virus on yourself or your opponent, then you're going to end your turn. And to end your turn, you're going to look at two things. What are they? I don't know. Yeah, you do. What do you do at the end of your turn? You've played all your cards down. You draw cards. Yeah. How many do you draw? Three. Uh-uh. Two. Yep, and then your hand limit is what? Three. So yeah, you have a draw. It's a base draw of two. And then after you draw your two cards, you'll check your, your hand to see that you have three or less cards. And if you do, you're fine. But if you don't, you have to discard down to that limit. And a lot of cards, including in the organisms and of course the cells themselves, will give you kind of an increased uh, draw limit. So you could draw up to 10 cards in a turn and have a hand, uh, and have a hand size of like six. So you could draw 10 and discard down to six, right? And uh, after you have played your cards, drawn cards equal to whatever that level is, and then basically discarded down to your base hand limit, the next player will get a chance to go playing their cards, drawing their base, discarding down to their base, and proceeding from there. Up until the point where you're able to trade in cells uh, in order to get these cards here. Now there are certain types of cells. Uh, genes are all the same. 
they're all basic. All, you can trade any genes that are face down for any cells. So if a cell costs three genes, you could trade in three genes for that cell. But cells have a unique type, and most of the organisms have a required cell type in order to get. So if I wanted this cold adapted organism, it's gonna cost me what? Four cells. And what kind of cells? The snowflake ones. Yeah, and if you don't have the four snowflakes, if you have fire ones or maybe earth ones, you're not gonna be able to get this one. And then there's additionally unique uh, types of organisms like this one here. This is a resilient organism and it's gonna cost what? What's this guy here? One of each kind. So you're gonna need one of each of the different types of these cells. So you'll discard your uh, genes to get a cell of a fire type, of a you know, water type and so on and so forth. And then you can trade those in on your turn to get one of these guys here. And that's the idea. You're trying to get a certain number of these guys. And if you can get it on your turn before any of the other players, whether it be three or two of them based on the number of players, then you win the game. And the only other thing to note too is that these organisms, just like certain cells, will give you benefits. Like for instance, if I got this cold adoptive organism, all of my winter cells will cost one less gene for the rest of the game. Uh, and in addition to that, my hand and my uh, draw limit will be increased by one plus the number of these winter, uh, these winter cells that I have in front of me. So where normally winter cells might not be useful after getting this guy here, if there's nothing else to buy, this kind of gives it a reason, you a reason to increase the amount of winter cells that you have because your draw rate and your hand weight will, will, will increase as the game goes on. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. Get those three organisms and uh, put them in front of you before your opponents do and uh, you win, right? Nothing else special? No. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we'll talk about what we think about it now. Okay, so we're going to talk about microscopic and what we liked, what we didn't like, um, how it played, the art, all that good stuff. And we'll kind of start in categorical order, I suppose, uh, with uh, the theme of the game. This is all about uh, what? What's it all about? Making organisms yeah. out of your genes. Yeah, so it's it's pretty sciencey game, right? You're, you're gathering cards. You can use them as either a gene or as a cell or maybe it's a virus or a mutation. And you're trying to turn those cells into organisms. So you're slowly kind of creating like a petri. It's like kind of reminds me of like a microscope and like a petri dish and like watching these little things like connect into like bigger things, right? Yeah, I guess. Like they're little, you have little genes and they kind of like boop and they, they're like exploding and then they're creating like bigger thing. And then you get this really big, uh, fancy, resilient organism at the end. And it's kind of like this uh, replicating process that you're able to gain more cards, gain more hand size, and like you progressively get faster and faster as the game goes on. Once you've gotten one of these guys here, uh, you're, you're pretty much set. Like you're starting to draw a bunch of stuff. And the theme comes out uh, pretty well, in my opinion. Uh, it has that science feel, it has the organism feel. I feel like I'm placing genes out and trying to create these cells to then turn into organisms. And there's a step-by-step -step process in order to do that. And I can imagine that in, in like, in my head. Is that kind of, did you get the theme? Did you feel the theme at all in the game? Yeah, I like the theme, especially since I love science. Yeah, this, this one here is a nurse, a traveling nurse, and she likes blood and poo and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, so. all of the bodily fluids. <laughs> <laughs> so this kind of this this resonates with you, right? All, yeah. This is this is kind of like what's inside the bodily fluids. Yeah, microbiology so, was like my favorite prereq for nursing. Really? So then this would be a good theme for you, right? Yeah, it was. Okay, cool. Um, so that theme, yeah, it's a solid theme. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the artwork. This is actually mainly clip art. So basically, free artwork that you'd find online. Uh, they just utilize the different types of clip art. I personally wasn't sure what I'd think about it at first, and I, I actually really dig it. Like, I like the theme, I like the style of the art, it attaches to the theme, it works really well. It's very vibrant and colorful, and kind of like, gooey, and like, it's like, I, I don't know, it just feels gooey, all the little pieces are all kind of like blobby and whatnot, but that kind of does make sense, because in my, old, my olden days, back a long time ago when I was in high school, uh, we had to look through microscopes, which I haven't done in, I don't know, almost, what, two decades now? It's been a while. <laughs> uh, but uh, this, this kind of gives me flashbacks of that and seeing all the different things and how they, I mean, I hopefully you probably don't want to find any of this in your blood. That, that, I, don't, I don't know if these are actually things you'd want to find in your bloodstream or not. No. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I, I did really enjoy the artwork. I, I think the artwork is really cool. Um, as, as well as, well, well as it is vivid and simplistic in, in style and nature, it, it really works for the game in my opinion. Did you like, did you like that work? Yeah, I did. Um, and I like the, 
jeans on the back of them too it makes it like easier to see that you're placing your jean points yeah to... this is it's got like a dual purpose card yeah, right so yeah. it feels like you could place down your little jeans and this is kind of like once you've created your jean you can then get rid of it and bam now mm -hmm. you've got now you have a simple cell and that simple cell can be used to create a simple organism and it kind of like has this like homboing feel and the cells feel like the, the art works with the combination of the mechanics in the game so that being said mechanics for the game and this game is simple right it's, it's pretty yeah. straightforward you're dropping cards you play as many cards as you want then you draw then you discard and you pass and you're just trying to get these guys here and whoever gets them first is the winner uh what did you think about the gameplay like the the ramping up it has a whole lot of like it has a very interesting feel to it it starts yeah. off very slow and then it progressively gets a little faster right i feel like you have to start off really well if not then you're screwed if you don't get yeah i, I noticed that she got the orgasm first and these pay off in like folds like she was able to draw a bunch and, and hold her hand size really well well i think it also depends on which organism you go for if you go for the good ones then then you're probably gonna win if you get that one first but they are more challenging to get in, yeah. like for instance this resilient organism is probably better than these ones by a bit mm -hmm. all cells cost one less and your hand and draw limit is increased by the number of distinct cells uh cell kinds plus one. Oh, wow, that's really nice but it, it's more challenging to get this one because you might be looking for a while for mm -hmm. a specific type of cell whereas these guys here are pretty simple it's four of one specific type um so yeah, definitely, I, you definitely have a higher advantage when you have a better starting organism. So it might be more in your favor to try and get a stronger one to begin with. Yeah. Right? I agree, definitely. Um, there's a little bit of luck in the game too. It feels like uh, you could get the cards you want. You could get a bunch of mutations. And mutations, while can be kind of bad, are actually really good, even if they're bad. Mm -hmm. Like you can get rid of those mutations and utilize them for organisms uh, and while they might make certain things cost more or less, they're going to basically be giving you free cards. It's like a free draw when you get them, and it's also like a free um, sell when you get one as well. And they don't have a cost to them, which is nice. So that adds a bit of more of a random element to the game. Some people are probably gonna like that, and others probably won't. Oh, you just drew three, you know? <laughs> you just do three of those um, what, what, I'm, I'm, mutations. mutations yeah, yeah, I kept drawing those. And I'm sitting there like, I've only got two cells, and you just do three mutations. And well, that's what? also because I got the organism that allowed me to draw so many cards. Yeah, she had an organism that was uh, more powerful than mine for sure. She had the bacteria one, which lets you draw based on the number of opponent cells. So I had a lot of cells and she was, she was drawing from that. And then her hand size was based on the number of her cells plus one. And uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty useful. I started with the cold one, I think. Or no, the hot one. No, the hot one. I, I had I the option one. of getting the cold one or the bacteria. So I'm like, I'm gonna get the bacteria because I'm gonna get better benefits. And it's it was six cells, but it's also kind of easier because it didn't require specific types either. Yeah. So you had the ability to get either or at the same time. So might as well pick the one that's bigger, right? Yeah, you could have gotten that one too. I didn't have six. You had more than me. You got the mutations. Um, yeah, so <laughs> yes, gameplay, a bit of luck, a uh, bit of strategy as well. Deciding what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of. You are going to be discarding quite a few cards in the game. You're more likely to draw than you are to have a hand, hand size, um, at least with most of these organisms. So she was drawing like 8 million cards and then she'd have a hand size of like 7. And I'd draw like 6 and discard down to 5. Um, but it was still close. I was actually only maybe, what, a turn off of, from winning? She beat me. Um, and uh, yeah, she was... Yeah, she beat me. I, I, I kind of saw that she had it in, in, in the bag if I didn't win the turn before and I couldn't do it. Um, but it was still possible. I didn't feel like I was completely like, oh, she's, she's so far ahead of me, there's no way I'm coming back. It was always a very close game. Which I do appreciate as well. I don't think it matters the number of players in this game. Two, three, or four players. I think it plays pretty much the same way regardless of the number of players. And um, I really enjoyed my play. I, th I think this is a lot of fun. My favorite part about the game is the fact that the cards are dual use. And uh, that it's kind of a building. It's, a, it's like a hand management, a tableau management game where you're just kind of building on, on, a, on one another itself. Uh, overall, 
I really, really enjoyed this game. Uh, this is on a game. It's on a game crafter. It was a self-published game, and you could tell there was a lot of time and thought put into the game with a really cool, unique mechanic uh, mechanic to the cards, and of course the building mechanism. And uh, yeah, it's something I would recommend. What do you think overall? Give me your spiel. Yeah, I really liked the theme of it, um, and I liked that it was a short game. It didn't take too long, and it was still fun. And yeah. I mean, it was. It's just forty-five minutes on there. Do you think that's right? I think it was less than 45 minutes. Yeah, I think minutes. it was like 25 minutes, huh? Yeah. I think maybe for more players it might go longer. Or maybe if we just didn't get the exact cards we needed for the right kinds of mm -hmm. uh, of cells. But we, we pushed pretty quickly and we learned the game really quick. It was really easy play. I think, yeah. could you teach this game to another person now that you've played it? Yeah. Like just straight up teach them. Like that's that's usually the sign of a good, simple, straightforward card game with a good amount of strategy. Is this something you recommend to somebody else to play? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Okay, cool. So if you guys are interested in the game, Microscopic, there will be a link down there below in the description where you can go ahead and check out the game on the Game Crafter and uh, decide for yourself if you'd like to pick it up. It's a two to four player game and it's quick, simple, straightforward with a bit of tactics, a bit of strategy, and a bit of luck all mixed into one uh, science-y type of a game. I had a lot of fun playing it and maybe you will too. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos here in YouTube. Uh, you can go ahead and also like, comment, and what's the most important thing I need people to do? Subscribe. That's right, hit that subscribe button. And the bell, where's the bell at? Over here. Okay, right there. I gotta edit it there then. <laughs> hit the bell button notification. You can see more of our videos here every weekday. And of course, we do one other thing on the week. Uh, what do we do? That's what we do every week. Live stream. Every try to take over the world. Well, you're too young to, to know that. You know, Pinky and the Brain? What is it we're going to do today? Try and take over the world. No? She's a youngin'. She doesn't, she, doesn't, she doesn't know the good stuff. Anyway, yes, every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST. I feel so old. <laughs> well, you can uh, watch us play live streams of games just like this one. Uh, this week, we're going to be playing the game The Fog and Athanasia, I think is the game's name. We played The Fog last night, actually. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun. Yeah, you won. I did, but only because Callie messed up on the rules and <laughs> it then allowed me to win the game with points that I shouldn't technically have had based on the original rule set. But I will take the victory. Uh, you can also go ahead and join us on Patreon for a dollar. A dollar a month helps us do stuff like shipping, helps us pay for things like um, when we mess up on moonshell orders and have to give people a free whatever it is. Um, it also helps us pay for our live streams, our Discord. We upped our internet, so it's going to have triple speeds now for this next week, so we'll be able to super stream, which is pretty cool. And that's pretty much all I got for you today. You know, you can check out Microscopic if it's something that'd be interesting uh, for you to do so. Thank you, Alicia, for joining us on another review. Are you having fun? These, do, these, en do you enjoy these? Yeah. Yeah, do you like playing <laughs> the games? What's more fun, playing the games or doing the video? Playing the games. I would rather be on the other side of the camera. She wants to be the one on the other side of the camera? Yeah. Why? You're the pretty yeah. one. Why do you, I would be, I'm the bearded, weird looking one. I gotta be on the other side of the camera. But running a jib is fun. Well, buy a jib. You buy a jib, you can run it on that side of the camera. And it'll like, you can like, I don't know, I'll like sing a song or something like that. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys. See you guys next time. Beautiful. <laughs>